my friends here in Iowa, you know we have beaten the odds every step of the way. We have done it on the merits, we have done it with ideas, and we have done it with hard work. Because, thank you. We know in our hearts that in a democracy, it is not about the loudest voice or the biggest bank account. It is about the best idea, and it is about the person that can turn those ideas into action. We know that our party can't win big by trying to outdivide the divider in chief. We know that we win by bringing people with us instead of shutting them out. Yeah. Donald Trump's worst nightmare is that the people in the middle, the people who have had enough of the name calling and the mudslinging, have a candidate to vote for in November. Donald Trump's worst nightmare is that our fired up Democrats will march to victory alongside a big coalition of independents and moderate Republicans that see this election just as we do. That this election is, yes, an economic check, but it also is a patriotic check. It is a decency check. It is the simple idea, it's a simple idea that the heart of America is so much bigger than the heart of this guy in the White House. Our country, our country cannot take another four years of Donald Trump. Our collective sense of decency can't take another four years. The rule of law can't withstand another four years of a president that thinks he's above it. Our democracy cannot tolerate another four years of a president who wants to bulldoze right through it. The American dream cannot take another four years of a president who thinks he can choose who gets it. His playbook is not hard to understand. It is really three words, divide and demoralize. Well, I have a playbook that's three words, Unite and lead. And that is what we need to do. That is how I have passed over 100 bills as the lead Democrat in the United States Senate in the middle of that gridlock. And that is how I have won elections in the reddest of red congressional districts, in the bluest of blue congressional districts. The president, though, he might as well have a sign on his desk that says, the buck stops anywhere but here. <laughs> Look at what he has done. He blames everyone for our problems. He blames everyone, people that shouldn't be blamed. Who does he blame? He blames immigrants, right? He blames Barack Obama. He blames the Fed chair that he nominated, the energy secretary that he appointed, the generals that he commands, and yes, the king of Denmark. <laughs> He even recently blamed Justin Trudeau for cutting him out of the Canadian version of Home Alone 2. <laughs> Who does that? Who does that? So let me tell you what I will do. When I am behind that desk, I will take responsibility instead of passing it on. I will reach across the aisle and work with Americans in good faith instead of picking fights I'll bring this country together instead of pushing it apart. Some of you may know that old story about Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And it was a story about how after he died, they put his body on a train and it worked its way to Washington, D.C. And there's a story of a reporter who came upon a man who was crying by the side of those tracks. And the man had his hat on his chest and he was sobbing and the Reporter looked at him and said, sir, do you know President Roosevelt? Did you know him? And the man says, no. I didn't know President Roosevelt, but he knew me. He knew me. And what we are missing so much right now in our country is that sense of empathy. We are missing that caring. And I promise you this, I will bring back that sacred trust between the American people and the President of the United States. So, if you are
are sick and tired of hearing how great the economy is when you don't feel it, when your paycheck is stretched to the breaking point month after month, I know you and I will fight for you. If you are sick of choosing between paying for daycare for your kids and long-term care for your parents, I know you and I will fight for you. If you are sick of being torn between filling a refrigerator and filling a prescription, I know you and I will fight for you. And if you want a Democratic nominee who can make our tent bigger and our coalition wider and our coattails longer, If you want that, I know you and I will fight for you. And if you are sick and tired of the extremes in our politics and the noise and the nonsense, you have a home with me. So please join our campaign at amyklobuchar.com. Join us, join us because we are gonna be here it looks like a really long time tonight. And you will have plenty of time to join us at amyklobuchar.com. So let's stay up. Let's stay in a good spirit because you all know what happened out there in those precincts. You know that we have been punching way beyond our weight. You know that despite some limited resources compared to some of those bigger bank accounts, we are way on the board. So let's stay up, let's stay up, let's stay happy, and let's head to New Hampshire. Thank you, Iowa, I love you.